Swiss-hosted Ukraine peace summit is Animal Farm, Dmitry Medvedev. The Swiss-hosted Ukrainian peace conference has turned out to be an erratic and dysfunctional event whose participants have no clue what they are doing there, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev has said. The June 15th to 16th conference at the Bergenstock Hotel near Lake Lucerne has focused on three points of Volodymyr Zelensky's peace formula, including prisoner exchanges, nuclear and food security. The plan calls for Russia to withdraw from all territories claimed by Kiev, but it has been dismissed by Moscow as divorced from reality. Russia was not invited to the event. Writing on Telegram, Medvedev, who is currently the deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, compared the summit to George Orwell's Animal Farm. The novel, which is considered to be a veiled reference to the Stalin-era Soviet Union, reflects on how ideals of equality and freedom can become distorted and betrayed after a ruthless leader takes over. The ex-Russian president said the Swiss event is pure surrealism and that none of the participants in the peace forum know what they are doing there and what their role is. He went on to say that the Swiss shepherd boys invited only trustworthy animals, including a crazy puny swine and his sidekick, as well as a flock of slow-witted Western Alpine sheep blithely bleating about peace, as well as a pack of European chained dogs to guard the livestock. Medvedev did not specify who these remarks were directed at. According to the former president, the dogs are barking and spitting poisonous saliva to maintain order, which he said is warranted since the sheep often bleat out of place and confuse the memorized statements. In an apparent reference to US President Joe Biden, he said, the flock is led by an elderly, weak-minded owner suffering from progressive dementia. He added that the US, instead of sending Biden, sent a soft-headed deputy who said a phrase learned by heart and quickly went home, referring to Vice President Kamala Harris. To sum it up, the grazing of the cattle in the Alps is just a sad pile of poop that is burning up taxpayers' money, Medvedev said. According to an earlier Bloomberg report, Biden skipped the summit because it overlapped with a campaign fundraiser in California ahead of the presidential election this November. Zelensky criticized the US president's absence, suggesting it would only be met with applause by Putin. A number of Western officials have acknowledged that the Ukraine conflict cannot be resolved without Moscow's participation in talks. Prolonged rains in eastern China's Fujian province caused flooding in Chuanzhou, a city of nearly 9 million people, and two other major cities, as well as 11 rural counties. According to information reported by China Central Television citing local authorities, 11 rivers overflowed. Torrential rains have forced the evacuation of 36,000 people in east China's Fujian province, the provincial flood control office said. Days of heavy rains have wreaked havoc in many parts of Fujian, which has declared an emergency response to rainstorms, Xinhua News Agency reported. The water level in flood zones reaches 3.65 meters. According to published data, 179,800 people were affected by the floods, and about 36,000 people were evacuated. Military personnel were involved in the process. The railway connection in Fujian province has been partially suspended. Huang Jigang, an expert with the Fujian Meteorological Service, urged people to be vigilant due to the risk of flooding in small and medium-sized rivers and the potential for waterlogging in both urban and rural areas. It should be noted that since June 9, it has been raining in Fujian accompanied by a storm and strong wind. The province has also been declared a disaster alert. Experts have attributed the recent complex and contradictory weather conditions to the joint effect of El Nino and La Nina coupled with global warming. In response, authorities have deployed various measures to combat high temperatures and control flooding to stabilize production and ensure the people's livelihood in affected areas. Influenced by both cold and warm air currents, multiple places in southern China have recently been experiencing continuous heavy rainfall. The National Flood Control and Drought Relief Authority initiated a Level 4 emergency flood response for South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region and East China's Fujian Province, dispatching work teams to the regions to offer assistance and provide guidance.